Om Shanti. This is the Abhyakt morning of 24th of February, 1984. And the title is, Brahman birth is the birth of incarnation. Bab Dada comes into sound to take everyone into the stage beyond sound. He comes to the corporeal world and enters a corporeal body to make you of yet. Are you always incarnated in your corporeal body while being in the avyak stage and considering yourself to be a subtle angel? All of you are incarnations that incarnate. By performing every action in this awareness, you become the karmatit incarnations who are free from the bondage of karma. An incarnation means someone who comes down here from up above in order to perform elevated actions. All of you too, with your high stage, from up above, take the support of the body, enter an old body in the old world in order to perform actions for service. However, your stage remains that up above, and this is why you are incarnations. An incarnation always brings a message from God. All of you confluence-aged elevated souls have also incarnated in order to give God's message and to enable everyone to meet God. That body is now no longer yours. You have even given your body to the Father. You said, everything is yours, and therefore nothing is mine. The Father has given you that body on loan for service. There can be no right to something that you have received on loan. Since that body is not yours, how could there be body consciousness? The soul belongs to the Father, and the body also belongs to the Father. So where did I and mine come from? Now there is just the unlimited consciousness of I. I belong to the Father. S is the Father, so am I the Master. Therefore, this is the unlimited consciousness of I. A limited consciousness of I brings obstacles. The unlimited consciousness of I makes you free from obstacles and a destroyer of obstacles. In the same way, a limited consciousness of I brings you into the spinning of mind whereas the unlimited consciousness of I liberates you from all spinning for many births. The unlimited consciousness of mine is my Baba. So the limited is renounced. Become an incarnation. Take the support of the body and come to act for service. The Father has given you a loan that is, he has entrusted you with something for service. You cannot use it for any wasteful task. Otherwise, that would create an account of dishonesty in the treasure entrusted to you. An incarnation doesn't create an account of waste. An incarnation comes, gives a message, and leaves. All of you have taken Brahman birth for the sake of service and to give a message. The Brahman birth is the birth in which you have incarnated. It is not an ordinary birth. Therefore, always consider yourselves to have incarnated to be a world benefactor. Constantly an elevated, incarnated soul. Maintain this faith and intoxication. You have come here for a temporary period and then 
you also have to go back. Now, do you always remember that you have to go back? You are an incarnation. You have now come and you then have to return. This awareness will give you the experience of going beyond and having limitless attainment. On the one hand, beyond, and on the other hand, limitless attainment. Both the experiences are simultaneous. You are such images of experience, are you not? Acha. Now, Put into a practical form everything you have heard. To listen means to become. Today, Baba has especially come to meet his equals. You are all equals, are you not? The true teacher has come to meet the instrument teachers. He has come to meet his service companions. Acha? To those who are always an embodiment of the awareness of the unlimited consciousness of I, to those who constantly remain stable in the unlimited powerful form of mine is the one father alone, to the children who remain stable in an elevated stage, who take the support of the body and incarnate as incarnations, Pop Dada's love, remembrance, and namaste. Pop Dada meeting teachers. This is the gathering of those who are constantly serviceable souls. Is it not? Do you always consider yourselves to be unlimited world servers? You are not limited servers, are you? Are all of you unlimited? If any of you are sent from one place to somewhere else, are you ready? Are all of you flying birds? Are you flying birds even with the consciousness of your body? The branch that pulls you towards itself the most is this consciousness of the body. The slightest attraction towards old scars means that there is the consciousness of the body. My nature is like this. My sense scars are like this. My way of living is like this. My habits are like this. All of these are signs of body consciousness. So, have you birds flown even from this branch? This is called the karmatid stage. No bondage at all. Karmati doesn't mean that you become free from actions, but free from the bondage of action. So actions of the body. This means, for instance, some have the nature of living comfortably, of eating comfortably at the right time, and of doing everything at the right time. This bondage of karma also pulls you towards itself. Go beyond this bondage, that is, the habit of even this karma, because you are instruments. Until all of you instrument souls become free from the bondage of karma and sanskars and nature of the body, how would you free others? For instance, illness of the body is the suffering of karma. In the same way, if any bondage of karma pulls you towards itself, then this suffering of karma also creates obstacles. When a physical illness, the suffering of karma, repeatedly pulls you towards itself, pain pulls you, doesn't it? Then you say, what can I do? Otherwise, I am fine, but there is severe suffering of karma. In the same way, if any particular old sanskar, nature, or habit pulls you towards itself, that too is also the suffering of karma. 
any type of suffering of karma will not allow you to become a karma yogi. Therefore, go beyond this too. Why? All of you are souls who are going to claim number one. The meaning of number one is those who win in everything. Nothing is then lacking. The meaning of teacher is to be those who constantly, through their own image, give the experience of Karmatit Father Brahma and loving and detached Father Shiva. So, you have this specialty, do you not? You are friends, are you not? How do you become friends? You cannot be friends with someone without being equal. Therefore, all of you are the Father's friends. You are God's friends. To be equal is to have friendship. You are those who place your footsteps in the Father's steps because you are friends and also lovers of the Beloved. So the lovers always place their footsteps in the steps of their beloved. This is the system, is it not? What do they make a couple do when they are getting married? This is what they make them do, is it not? So where was this system created? It was created by you people. Yours is the foot of the intellect, but they have understood it to be a physical feat. You are the instrument souls with a special relationship who fulfill the responsibility of every relationship. The instrument teachers have a much easier method than that of others. Others still have to maintain their relationships, whereas your relationship is always with service and the Father. Even when you are carrying out a worldly task, you always remember the time that you can go on service when it is time. And whomever you are carrying out the worldly work for, you automatically have the awareness of that one. For instance, in the world, parents earn for their children and so they automatically remember them. Therefore, when you are doing your worldly work, who are you doing that for? Are you doing that for yourself or for service? The more you use for service, the more happiness you have. Never work thinking that you are doing worldly work. This too is a means of service. It has a different form but it is still a form of service. Otherwise, if it were worldly service and you didn't have the facilities to serve, you would be thinking about where you could obtain something from. How would you obtain something? I'm unable to manage. I don't know when it will happen. Do these thoughts not waste your time? Therefore, never say, that you are doing a worldly job. This is an unworldly job. It is for the sake of service. Then you will never feel it to be a burden. Otherwise, you sometimes become heavy. For how long do I have to do this? What will happen? This is the way for all of you to create your reward easily. There are the three things body, mind, and wealth. If you are using all three things for service, then who will receive the fruit of all these three? Will you receive it or will the Father receive it? To be able to create your reward in all three ways is an additional reward to that of others. Therefore, never become heavy in this. Simply change your motives. It is not for worldly, but non-worldly service. Change this motive. 
Do you understand? Then you become doubly surrendered. You surrendered with your wealth. Everything is for the Father. What is the meaning of surrender? Whatever you have is for the Father. That is, it is for service. This is surrender. Those who are surrendered, raise your hands. We will have a ceremony for them. You have also created children, and you are saying that you are not surrendered? You may celebrate your wedding anniversary, but don't say that you are not married. What do you think? The whole group is surrendered, is it not? Bab Dada praises a great deal the double foreign children and the teachers who are instruments at the double foreign places. He isn't praising you just for the sake of it, but you do make special effort with a lot of love. You have to make a lot of effort, but because of love, you don't feel that to be effort. Look, you prepare the groups and bring them here from so far, far away. Therefore, Bab Dada surrenders himself to you children because of the effort you make. The double foreign instrument servers have one very good specialty. Do you know what that specialty is? Many specialties emerged. Whatever specialties emerged, check yourself and if they are missing, then fill yourself with them because many good things emerged. Bab Dada is telling you that he saw one specialty of you double foreign servers, that whatever directions Bab Dada gives, you do it and put it into a practical form. No matter how much effort you have to make, you definitely have to make it practical. This practical aim is very good. Just as Bab Dada says, that they have to bring a group, so they are bringing groups. Bab Dada said that you have to serve VIPs, and initially you used to say that it was very difficult, but you maintain the courage of having had to do that. So now, for two years, groups have been coming. You used to say that it was very difficult for VIPs to come here, from London. However, you have now shown the practical example. This year, even those from Parat brought the president here. Nevertheless, the enthusiasm you double foreigners have that you definitely have to carry out whatever direction you receive and the love you have for doing it is very good. Seeing the practical result, Bab Dada is singing praise of your specialty. To open centers is a thing of the past. You will continue to open them because there you easily have all the facilities. You can go from here and then open them there. Bharat doesn't have these facilities. Therefore, to open centers is not a big thing. But you now have to prepare such very good air quality souls. One is to prepare air quality souls, and the other is to prepare those who are powerful in spreading the sound. Both are necessary. Air quality, for instance, with the zeal and enthusiasm for service. You have surrendered your body, mind, and wealth with your intellect. This is known as air quality. So, you also have to make air quality souls emerge. Let there be special attention paid to this. At every center, let there be such air quality souls, and then that center will become number one of all the centers. One is to be cooperative in service, and the other is to surrender yourself completely. How many such heirs are there? 
Are there such heirs at every center? To create godly students and to be cooperative in service is a long list, but only some are heirs. Whoever receives directions at any moment, whatever Srimat you continue to receive, continue to move along according to that. So keep both aims. You have to create this type and also that type. One such air quality soul can become an instrument to open many centers. This will continue to happen in a practical way. You have now understood your specialty. Have you not? Acha. Blessing. May you be an intense effort maker and remain ever ready by considering every moment to be the final moment. Children who are intense effort makers remain ever ready at every moment, considering it to be the final moment. They don't think that there is still some time left before destruction and that they will be ready by then. Instead of looking at that final moment, think that there is no guarantee about your final moment and therefore remain ever ready. Let your stage always be beyond. Be detached from all and loving to the Father, a conqueror of attachment. Always be free from attachment, free from sinful and waste thoughts. When there is no wastage, you can be said to be ever ready. Slogan, in order to pass with honors at delicate times, increase your power to adjust. Om Shanti.